winter is here. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your girl Shy here. This is my first reaction video. I have never actually done a reaction video, so I thought this would be a lot of fun. Also, if you don't know, Game of Thrones just came out with season 7's premiere yesterday. I'm filming this on a Monday, but I'm hoping to get this out Monday night or Tuesday morning, because by then everyone will have seen the premiere. And I am holding a direwolf, so every time you see this appear in the video, you know it is a Game of Thrones reaction video and I'm going to be doing it all throughout season seven so look forward to that. Hopefully I can get my parents in on some of them because I watch it with both of them. So I took notes during last night's episode and I'm just going to talk about the notes that I took, talk about the subjects that I want to talk about. But before that, let me just tell you, Game of Thrones is my ish. I am obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. I have a sign in my room right above my mirror that says Valor Magules that I made. All men must die. But yeah, my best friend, Brina, she's my A1. Um, I've known her for forever. She gave me this for, I believe it was my birthday last year. Um, so thanks, Brina. Also, before I proceed, there are going to be tons of spoilers in this video. So if you have not gotten to season seven, episode one of Game of Thrones, do not watch this video. Okay, so let's get into these notes that I took during the episode. The first thing that I noticed before the show even started was they gave me so much life when they showed Catelyn getting her throat slit at the wedding and then it cuts to Arya slitting Walder Frey's throat. I was like, yes, queen, okay. Arya is everything. She is the badass I aspire to be. In the beginning of the episode, I was like really confused. I was like, are they you know, showing us something that happened before she killed Walder or like what is happening. But then I was like, hold on a second. Arya knows how to use the faces now. It kind of became obvious, but when she talked to Walder's wife where she was like, she was like, why would I waste perfectly good wine on a woman? I was like, okay, I think I see where this is going. But yeah, she played that role well. She had everybody in that room going until uh, she poisoned them all, which I was like, hey, God bless. Now House Frey is gone. We don't have to worry about them. Walder Frey was gross and irritating. And as long as he lived, his people would continue to be that way. And I, I don't want to do with no House Frey. So I'm glad that they are all gone. Liana Mormont. Little Liana Mormont. She is a firecracker. I do not know where Jon Snow would be without her because... Nobody was listening to him. Nobody was trying to give him the time of day. And every time that happens, she is right there like, hold up, hold up. You might want to listen to the King of the North. So yeah, I love her. I hope we get to see a little bit more of her this season. I hope some things happen um, with her. I don't know what things would happen, but I just really enjoy her character. And Jon needs her, so... You'll find out throughout these reaction videos that Jon Snow is my baby. The next note I have literally says Cersei is tripping. Uh, Cersei is spelled wrong, of course, because I have no idea how to spell that. I think Cersei is going crazy. Uh, I don't know what she plans on doing because she is literally alone. And then as I was saying that, it was like, there's got to be somebody she can pair with. But I was like, there's nobody. And then freaking Euron Greyjoy has to pop his little gross butt up. He's obnoxious. I don't like Euron, which is, I guess, the point. But I feel like he just has no purpose here. He's not going to rule anything well. Like, he just has no purpose here. He needs to die. Somebody needs to kill him. And if him and Cersei get married, that is going to be the grossest, weirdest couple ever. And... I just feel like they need to not. Nobody cares about them anymore. Like, the Lannisters are a dying breed. They need to go. I mean, I like Jaime. Kind of. Like, kind of. When he's not around Cersei, I like him. But Cersei brings out the bad in everybody. So, we're not even going to go there. I totally disregarded the fact that Tyrion is a Lannister, but we don't count him with them. Okay, that's all. So, yeah. That's that. Now, poor Sam. Samuel Tali. I feel bad for him because nobody's listening and I'm tired of people not listening to them because when the White Walkers come for everybody, they're going to be mad as hell that they did not listen. Uh, my note for Sam says Sam in the shit soup because 
how I would have not been able to last as long as he did. How is he going around eating the same thing that looks like what he's cleaning up from everybody else? Like, I just can't deal. I can't deal. That uh, He looked like he was about to blow. I'm surprised he did not vomit. I would have because that was just disgusting. Mm -hmm. But poor baby Sam. Sam is also my baby because he's friends with John and John is my baby. We will find this out. You guys will see this happen very fast. Jon Snow is my baby. Kit Harrington is everything. Okay? Okay. Now, Tormund and Brienne. Tormund? Tormund? Tormund. Tormund. Whatever. He is all up in Brienne's grill. He wants to tap that ass. <laughs> it's so funny because if I was Brienne, I'd be like, can I help you? But I guess she's so taken aback that she's just like, he is all for it, and I am all for it. I ship it. I would love to see what happens with them. But I know that Brienne is dedicated to Sansa. She's not trying to have any other obligations. So I don't really see that going too far, but I would like to see it go somewhere. I didn't put this on my list, but Littlefinger is making me nervous. He's making me very nervous because it seems like he's ready to collect on whatever he wants from Sansa, and Sansa's not giving him anything. So I'm not sure where that storyline is going. I just hope it doesn't happen where she has to give in to him or something like that because that's kind of creepy. He was definitely in love with her mother before he was in love with her. So he just makes me very nervous. But he's made me nervous throughout the entire season because he's always everywhere. Like, I don't know how he does that. Now let's get to the best part of this episode for me. And that was when Arya was riding through, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. When Arya was riding through the woods and I heard the most beautiful voice ever. And I sat up and I was like, I know what's happening. I knew it was happening, but I had forgotten until this very moment. Then my beautiful ginger baby Ed Sheeran pops on the screen and I lose my mind. I knew he was gonna have a small cameo in the show, but I didn't know it was gonna be the first episode. And it just makes me so happy that like he's friends with the cast and it just gave me so much life. Like I don't even know what I can say on that, but just the fact that it happened and it breathed new life into me. It gave me all the air I needed. It gave me all the life I needed. So, but also on the note of all that, uh, Arya's on her way to King's Landing to kill the queen. I don't know how to feel about that because... Cersei is scary as hell. Cersei is not very easily slain, apparently. So I don't know what Arya is thinking. I don't know what Arya has a plan for. I just wish she would go to Winterfell to see her siblings and be safe. But no, Arya has to go be a badass. But yeah, I just, I need Arya to just go home. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. The last note I have on here, I'm going to make two things. I have one note and then a side note was that weird hand that reached out and grabbed Sam and was asking about Danny and where she was and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure that's Jura. Jora? Jora Mormont. And the last note I have is the best note yet. And that is the fact that Danny and John will be crossing paths very soon. The fact that they will be crossing paths soon literally gives me like chills. I guess that's where she's setting up camp for her whole preparing to take over the Iron Throne thing. And John needs Dragonglass for the Great War that everybody should be preparing for, but they aren't because nobody believes in it. But whatever. The Great War needs Dragonglass. So John needs to go to Dragonstone to try to mine for Dragonglass. So that means that they will cross paths. They will meet and... Number one, I'm excited to see John in warm weather because, like, that seems like he'll be out of place. I just need for my babies to meet and see each other's greatness. I don't really know about dating yet. I don't know if I ship them. Uh, I guess we'll find out when they meet each other. But right now, I just need them to meet first. All right, so yeah, that is my reaction video to Game of Thrones. Let me know all your opinions about Game of Thrones in the comments. I want to hear everything. Everything. I love talking about this show. Like, I live for talking about this show but yeah also if you want i have a game of thrones tumblr that you can follow it's called john snow's king of the north king in the north um but i'll leave a link 
down below if you guys want to find that. Subscribe for more reaction videos because now you guys know that as long as Game of Thrones is on the air, you guys will get at least one video a week from me. So there's that. So now hopefully I'll start doing two uploads a week. Don't count on it though. <laughs> Go ahead and like this as well. And if you did subscribe, click the bell because you never know when I'm going to be posting some random crap. Until next time, it's your girl Shy signing off. Bye! Well, I don't want to sit still